By now, anyone who is a fan of Formula 1 knows that James Bowles, who was Mercedes Motorsport Strategy Director, has moved to Williams, and this move is seen as a promotion for him. James does not continue as Motorsport Strategy Director, instead he will fill the position of Team Principal. This move is a major one and expectations are enormous. Does Vols have what it takes to turn the fortunes around at Williams? Or will it just be business as usual? Why might Vols be just what Williams need? Stick around to the end to uncover how Vols' move away has left Mercedes in a sticky situation. Let's get started. So why might the move be perfect business for Williams? Just before 2020, Williams was in free fall. It won its last race in 2012 and was on the podium for the last time in 2017. However, since its takeover by Darlington Capital, it has enjoyed stability. While there could be many reasons for this, finance has played a key role. The present strength that Williams now has is a lot of improvement. However, it is just one step towards their goal. There are still several more steps to go. This is obvious because in 2022, it had just 8 points. After the takeover by Darlington Capital, Josh Capito came on board as CEO. Just a couple of months into his tenure as CEO, he had to play the role of team principal. Right now, Williams sporting director Smeets believes the next step towards their goal of competing in Formula 1 is to get a long-term leader. This long-term leader could have been anyone, but Williams has settled for James Vols. Already, the two parties have reached an agreement and things will finalise on the 20th of February. Vols replaces Josh Capito after the former was in charge for two years. Unlike Capito, who was the CEO and team principal, Vols will function solely as team principal. And as much as he has served as a senior manager in Mercedes, he has never been in a top position in any team in Formula 1. So we are still determining what life at Wilmers will be like with him playing a pivotal role. However, since he was an essential part of the team that kept Mercedes at the top for several years and worked very closely with Wolf, he is sure to have some tricks that Williams will need to make significant progress. One of these tricks is a winning mentality. James's winning mentality combined with his mindset and experience means he is bringing a lot to the team. So what do Williams say about the move? Head of Vehicle Performance Dave Robson thinks that the team will benefit significantly one of the best teams in the championship. In his words, I think what he does bring is obviously a wealth of experience from Mercedes and its incarnations before that. Keenly, he's very ambitious. He's clearly very smart, so we're looking forward to getting him on board and letting him direct us on the next bit of the journey. When he arrives in a couple of weeks, so have we ever seen a move like this before? Foles is not the only one who's moved from Mercedes camp to the Williams camp. And the last time staff at Mercedes took up a senior position at Williams, things didn't exactly go according to plan. So certain people think things could play out the same way. While this is not something one should rule out, the likelihood of things going the same way is really low. But at Mercedes before switching to Williams and holding the position of Chief Technical Officer. This move was just before the start of 2017 season, and at the time, Lowe was one of the most respected names in Formula 1. Due to his success and influence, everyone expected him to perform very well. Lowe was in the job for two seasons and had to leave before the start of the 2019 in Lowe. So although he performed well at Mercedes, his role at Williams was far more significant and he needed more time to be ready to handle something of that magnitude. He's at Williams made it look like the team's poor performance was majorly his fault. There were more other problems with Williams at the time and Lowe's lack of capacity was just one of them. Since Lowe did not do so well at Williams despite coming from Mercedes, the same might happen to Vols. Because if he was so good, just maybe, Mercedes would be unwilling to let him go. The belief that Vols will struggle just like Lowe might be familiar. However, when you look at the positions at Mercedes, it might seem like the cases are different. While at Mercedes, he was a part of Wilf's inner circle. He was widely considered Wilf's right-hand man. Although he was not irreplaceable, the reason he left Mercedes and the situation under which he left are different from Lowe's. If this is anything to go by, the results will likely be different. 
So how will this move affect Mercedes? No doubt Vols made some mistakes at Mercedes. However, the fact that he remains in Toto Wolf's inner circle indicates that he was extremely valuable. The departure from Mercedes is certainly not free of consequences for the Silverados. He headed a nine-man team at Mercedes, and with his departure, his team will be without familiar leadership. Furthermore, Vols was Wolf's right-hand man, and his departure means Wolf might be left exposed. I'm sure you're wondering, if Vols was a vital member of Mercedes, why did they not try and hold on to him? Well, his former boss Wolf feels holding him back might not be fair. Leaving will give more room for growth. Vols moving to Williams from Mercedes is no doubt great for his growth. However, in addition to this, it creates a good relationship between the two firms. So in the end, we expect Wolf, Vols, Williams and Mercedes to be happy. So do you think the move is good business for Williams? Will Mercedes suffer as a result? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to click the icon on your screen now.